Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In today's videos, we'll be finding the equation of a line. And the particular question is, what is the equation of the line passing through the point 3, negative 4, and the point negative 1, 4? To solve this, what we'll have to do is use the slope equation. And once we have the slope equation, we'll use slope-intercept form to solve it. The slope-intercept formula is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Now, because b is the y-intercept, it's not going to be a coordinate. It's just going to be the value of the y at the y-intercept. So here, what we're going to do to calculate the slope, and the slope formula here is going to be the coordinates y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now I put parentheses around these because sometimes we have negative values when we're calculating our slope and it's important to keep them in parentheses because the sign changes on occasions, all right? So let's calculate our slope first. Let's designate our x1 y1 and our x2 y2. So now here, we're just going to substitute in our values. As you see, we have y2 first. So we have y2 is 4. And our y1 is negative 4. And here's that particular change. The negative negative is going to be important in this case. Our x2 is negative 1. And our x1 is positive 3. And so here, our first step is just going to be to figure out the sign changes, if any. So here, we're going to have positive 4 plus, because a negative negative makes a positive, another 4 divided by negative 1 minus 3. Now in this case, positive positive adds up, so we have an 8 on top. On the bottom, a negative and a, and a negative also add up, and we keep the sign, which is negative 4. And finally, we just divide the two. A positive divided by a negative is negative, and 8 divided by 4 is just 2. So we have our slope value. Our slope value is negative 2. Now, for the last part of this, we need to use the slope-intercept form. And to do this, we are allowed to use any of the two points we want. We can use x1 or we can use x2. For the sake of this video, I'll be using both of them. All right, so we could calculate our equation of the line. So let's use our x1, y1 as our point for this part of the formula. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to use the, the slope-intercept form and substitute the values of y, m, and x so that we can solve our y-intercept and then we can get a graph of this equation. So we'll use the equation y equals mx plus b, where we have our x and our y right here, and we have our m. The only thing we don't know is b, and we'll solve it by inserting these three into the equation. So our y value is negative 4, our m value is negative 2, our x value is 3, and our b remains b, we'll be solving for b. So we have negative 4 on the left side of the equation, on the right, we have negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6, plus our b value. And then the next step, we're going to have to add 6 to both sides by using the additive inverse of negative 6 so we can solve for b. So let me just rewrite this part for clarity. And we have plus 6 and plus 6 to both sides off of the additive inverse. These cancel. And we have positive 2 on the right. And positive 2 will be equal to b. So our b value is equal to 2. And now we have our m and our b, which is all we need for the equation of the line. So our m value is negative 2, our b value positive 2. Now on y equals mx plus b, we just insert what we know. And in this case, we have y equals negative 2x plus b. This becomes y equals negative 2x is, whoa, our b value is positive 2. So here we have negative 2x's plus 2. Here's our equation of the line. Now, we can also do this using the other coordinate. So what I'm going to do is take this equation, write it over here on the other side, and see if we get the same equation if I use the other point. Because if I use the other point, then I could see that I could use either one of these two points to generate the same equation of the line. And that will give us a form of clarity. So let's change this coordinate and use the opposite one and see if we got the same equation. So now we're using the second coordinate, negative 1 
and 4. And here, when we generate the equation of the line, we'll be using y equals mx plus b, once again, where we have our x value and our new y value. And again, the slope is still negative 2. So our y value will be positive 4 equals negative 2 for the m and negative 1 for the x plus the b value, which we're solving for again. So the left-hand side, we just have a positive 4. On the right, we have a negative 2 times negative 1 plus b. The negative 2 times negative 1 becomes positive 2 plus b. And now we'll subtract the additive inverse of 2 to both sides, right? So we can solve for this b value. So we're going to do minus 2 to both sides. These cancel. These result in a 2. And 2 is equivalent to the b. So our y-intercept, again, is positive 2. And now we'll do the same thing. We'll write the slope minus 2, the b value, which is positive 2. And we'll generate the equation of the line using the y equals mx plus b formula. And here we see, again, that negative 2 substitutes for the m. And the b, the b value substitutes as a 2. And we generate the same equation, negative 2x is plus 2. So our equation is the same for both equations.